Hello and welcome to Year One. We have Miss Fage in 1F and Mrs Prothero in 1P. We are really looking forward this year to getting to know you and your children. Our day starts at 8.30. The children are welcome to come in from 8.20 onwards. Children with older siblings in school can come in at the earlier time with them. Please ensure that your child comes to school with a snack, either fruit or vegetables only please, which is named. It's important that this is separate from their lunchbox as the snack goes into a different box that goes into the playground with them. You can place a sticker on the fruit or a named pot if this is easier. We are unable to provide a snack for the children and it is school policy that they are only eating fruit or veg at snack time. At the start of the day, the children come in, they place their book bag into the coloured box, their snack and their water bottles into the boxes and their lunch boxes go onto the shelf. They need to put their coat on their named peg. There is no room for large or bulky bags as it makes it very difficult for the children to access their things during the day and can cause a lot of disruption and distress. We cover a range of different topics in Year 1. All our topics are cross-curricular and we teach them through different subjects, for example, writing, reading, geography, history and science. We look at six topics throughout the year and our first topic is the Enchanted Woodland, which is a science-based topic. Our next topic after half term will be celebrations, which is a religious education topic. Also looking at history and geography. In the spring term, our topic will be paws, claws and whiskers, another science based topic. And then in spring two, our topic will be land ahoy, when we're learning about pirates. Ooh, that will cover quite a bit of history and geography. In the summer term, our first topic will be towers, tunnels and turrets, a history topic learning all about castles. This will be followed by our final topic, which is food and farming, which is mainly science based. During year one, we'll be using our school mantra, Fit for the Future. We will do this by following the Year 1 Jersey curriculum and as mentioned in the previous slide, we teach in a cross-curricular way, meaning that we teach our history and writing together using many different skills. We may also use computing to support our lessons. We have lots of opportunities to do this using our, through our range of exciting topics. Throughout the year, we will have covered all of the Year 1 curriculum through the subjects shown below, ensuring that the children are fit for the future. P. At the moment we have PE on a Tuesday and a Friday and children can come to school wearing their PE kits. However, this might change throughout the year, but we will let you know in good time. Please name everything. We've realised that these pieces of um, equipment, uh, sorry, clothing. Um, clothing, thank you, are quite expensive. So please could you name them? because we do misplace them sometimes and if they're named we can get them back to the owner straight away. Um, if children cannot tie laces it would be great if you could send them in with velcro shoes because again we spend a lot of time tying shoelaces. If your child is attending an after school club they may wear their PE kit to school on that day. As you can see, we have lots of visitors into school to speak to the children throughout the year and we also take them out and about as much as we can. Details of any trips will be shared to you nearer the time. Under normal circumstances, we are usually very, very thankful for any parental support on our trips. However, due to COVID restrictions, we are currently unsure of how this will look for year one this year. But again, any details we'll share with you as soon as we become aware of them. Home learning. 
it's very important that you read with your child every day. Research has shown time and time again that this always improves children's learning greatly. You can read books at home as well, but we will also provide books at school in their book bags. Please, when you have heard a child read, your child read, if you could sign the homework learning book just to say that you've heard read, that would be great too. Your child will have a name folder with Read Write Ink book in as well, and this is a little bit different as it's part of a program that your child is involved in. The books will be managed by their Read Write Ink group teacher on either a three or five day program, but we will give more information about this at a later date. Rewards. The children have got the opportunities to earn rewards. This could be through house points, achievers, the Dover and Standard, or many of our special trophies at the end of each term. The children can earn these rewards by following their class contracts, which they've decided and written on together, by being independent, polite, working hard, helping others, looking smart, and many, many more. I hope this has answered lots of your questions. Um, please be in touch with us if you need any help. We have um, email addresses there. You can get in touch with us, ask us any questions, or if you see us, please do ask because we want uh, the children to be happy and you to be happy and to know what's going on. We're really looking forward to getting to know your children and working with them and helping them become great independent year one learners. So it's goodbye from Mrs. Prothero. And goodbye from Miss Sage. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time. Bye. Bye.